With this morning's legal brief, let's turn to attorney Daniel Hockheiser, who joins us this morning from Newsmax New York. Dan, I don't know if the speaker was putting on an act yesterday. He sounded confident, almost upbeat. Was that false bravado for the cameras? I don't know why he's so confident after reading the 35-page complaint, which contains allegations by attorneys, a doctor, lobbyists, all kinds of people who have flipped uh, and turned government witnesses against him. There seems to be a mountain of evidence against him, uh, and this doesn't look good for the speaker. Daniel, it took 11 years to build this case. Might it be too complicated for a jury to understand, and why did it take so long? Well, I don't know how long they investigated him for. What we did learn in the complaint yesterday was that a grand jury was convened prior to the Moreland Commission uh, starting to investigate these uh, state corruption allegations. Uh, but actually, the, these allegations are really pretty simple. They're in two parts. First, you have the real estate scheme, where you have two developers who are doing business uh, with Sheldon Silver's office, and they need legislative favors from his office. They get favorable legislation. In return, they hire this real estate law firm that does tax assessment reduction work. That real estate law firm gets paid by the developers and then kicks back to Silver for no legal work. The other part of the scheme is the doctor scheme, where Sheldon Silver uh, has this uh, associate who is a meso mesotheliomia uh, expert Sheldon Silver arranges for half a million dollars in state grants to go to the doctor. The doctor, in turn, refers patients uh, to Whites and Luxembourg, Sheldon Silver's law firm. Whites and Luxembourg then litigates those plaintiffs' asbestos cases and kicks back fees to Silver. So this really uh, looks pretty bad, and I think a jury will understand it quite well. Well, the atmospherics of this, at least on the political side, Dan, there is an anecdote that years ago when George Pataki was governor and Sheldon, of course, was the speaker, I guess this goes back to 2004, at a moment of exasperation, Governor Pataki asked uh, Speaker Silver, who's your client? That, that the, the reputation in Albany is there is widespread deal making and it may not be confined to the assembly speaker. Well, and that's the question everybody's asking. Does this mean that other lawmakers should be shaking in their boots and worried about being indicted? And I think we're going to have to wait and see. If Sheldon Silver changes his tone and does not keep making statements about being vindicated and after analysis with his attorneys figures out he has nowhere to go in this federal criminal case, he may in fact flip and cooperate with the government. And he's a person who, metaphorically speaking, for the last 20 years, he's a guy who knows where all the bodies are buried. So people should be concerned. So Daniel, I have to ask you, why announce the charges now? Why not prior to the election last November? Well, uh, you'd have to ask U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara about that, but my guess would be that the U.S. Attorney would take the position that his investigations are not dictated by any political calendar and the uh, charges come out when the investigation is finished. Uh, Dan, as you were saying that there's a possibility this, uh, this could expand, the obvious question is what might this mean politically, legally, personally for Governor Andrew Cuomo? Might he face any legal problems ahead? Uh, as uh, our parent website, Newsmax.com reports, the U.S. Attorney says, stay tuned. Should the governor be concerned? Well, there's no indication in the complaint that the governor has anything to worry about. The only reference in the complaint to the governor's, governor's activities is his termination of the Moreland Commission investigation, which has been widely reported before. So what I take from this complaint is that the governor set up the Moreland Commission, took the football to the 50-yard line, and then Preet Bharara and the U.S. Attorney's Office carried the ball towards the goal line, and uh, they're going to try to win the game against New York State official corruption. But with the, with the uh, disbanding of the, or the suspension of the Moreland Commission, it raises 
a lot of questions. The other thing, and perhaps, Daniel, this is more political than legal in nature, a lot of talk that there's the wrong kind of bipartisanship in Albany that uh, regardless of political party, uh, there may have been other legislators, other assemblymen involved in, in this kind of influence peddling. Uh, do you believe there is a real possibility we will see this extend? And how likely is it the notion that, that someone like uh, Sheldon Silver could, could turn for the state, cop a deal? Well, in these federal cases, they usually go one or two ways. Either you cooperate, well, one of three ways. Either you cooperate with the government and make a deal and try to get a sentence which is under your United States sentencing guidelines range, or you take a plea without a deal uh, and hope uh, for the best from the judge, or you go to trial. So uh, it's a distinct possibility that Sheldon Silver will ultimately cooperate. He'll certainly have an incentive to as he faces up to 20 years in prison on these charges, although he probably wouldn't get a full 20 years. But, you know, he's 70 years old. He's not a spring chicken. Daniel, if you were advising Silver, what would you be telling him to do? Well, the first thing I would do is I would take a look at this uh, 2010 United States Supreme Court decision, which helped Joe Bruno. Uh, get a reversal and ultimately uh, win an acquittal because that Supreme Court decision uh, narrowed the honest services fraud uh, viability uh, of those particular charges against Silver. So he does have some legal issues to push in that direction, but uh, things look really bad. A lot of times in these federal cases, the only place to go for a criminal defendant is to argue mitigation of sentence. All right, on that note, Daniel Hockheiser, we appreciate it, uh, your legal advice. Thanks for not running the meter, by the way. And America's Forum will continue following this Newsmax Now update.